teaching your child to cross the road safely is one of the most important lessons of their life. Every year, hundreds of thousands of children are injured or killed by motor vehicles when walking along roads or trying to cross them. Drivers go too fast, they don't see the children, and they're not always accessible pavements or pedestrian crossings. It is therefore extremely important to be as cautious as possible. It takes many years for children to understand how the road traffic works. You're helping them and setting an example could save their life. Before the age of nine, children have difficulty judging how fast vehicles are going or how far away they are. That is why it is so important that adults supervise them and teach them how to behave when next to a road. Always hold your child by the hand when you walk along the road. Walk on the side of the road that is facing oncoming traffic. Keep the child on the side of the pavement furthest from the traffic and as close to you as possible. If your hands are full, ask the child to hold onto a strap of your bag or even to your clothes. When you cross the road, bear in mind these four steps. Find a place to cross. Stop at the edge of the road. Watch and listen. Cross quickly. Now let's go through each of these four steps. Find a place to cross the road. How can you find a suitable place to cross? Always use a pedestrian crossing when there is one. Otherwise, you can cross at a place where you have a clear view of both sides of the road and where you can also be seen by motorists. A parked car, a bush, a tree, a pole, a bend in the road, or a hill can prevent you from seeing and being seen. When I don't have a good view of the road, I don't cross. I find a better place to cross. When I find a place where I can see cars coming from both directions and where the cars can see me, then I can cross. Stop at the edge of the road. Always stop at the edge of the road before crossing. This will allow you to see arriving cars and to be seen. If you're next to a parked car, stop twice. For a first time at the edge of the road to ensure that the car will not start moving. And for a second time, level with the car to be able to see the traffic. Before I cross, I stop at the edge of the road. Watch and listen. Before crossing, teach your child to look to the right to the left, and then to the right once again to make sure no cars are coming. Look to the right first because that is the direction of oncoming cars, then to the left to see cars on the other side of the road, and then to the right once more to make sure there is no vehicle coming because cars can approach very quickly. Listen and teach your child to recognize the sound of the engine of oncoming cars. Before crossing, I look to the right, to the left, then again to the right, and I listen. Cross quickly. Cross the street to the side directly opposite you, as it is the shortest route. Walk quickly, but do not run. When crossing, listen carefully. Look both ways and be as visible as possible. I cross quickly, but I don't run, all the while looking left and right. Roads are even more dangerous when it is dark or raining. If possible, avoid crossing at such times because drivers might not be able to see you. If you have to cross, be twice as careful and don't hesitate to wear light clothing that is as reflective as possible. Now you know the four rules for safely crossing the road. Find, Find a place to cross. cross. Stop, Stop at the, the edge of the road. road. Watch, Watch and listen. Cross quickly. quickly.